Thank you, Speaker. To the Acting Premier, the Chief of the Grassy Narrows First Nation is in the Legislature today asking that the province contribute to building and operating a health facility for the people of Grassy Narrows and Wabasimoon First Nations. The province has known for decades that mercury was present on the paper mill site and that mercury contamination was not decreasing in the English Wabagoon River system. Last September, ministers in the Liberal government were informed that mercury contamination continued on the site, even though the Premier continued to say that any cleanup would cause more risk to the population. As many as 90% of the people in these communities show signs of mercury contamination and have been abandoned to their fate. Will the Premier today commit to making funds available for establishment and operation of a mercury care health facility in this community now? Question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Minister of Indigenous Relations and Reconciliation. Minister of Indigenous Relations. Thank you for that question. Speaker, we are deeply concerned about the challenges faced by Grassy Narrows and indeed White Dog Nation in that uh, area. I can tell you that uh, I have had, along with my federal counterparts, various uh, ministers and technical people, two meetings with my federal colleagues involving the chiefs. I can tell you, Speaker, that tomorrow we are having a meeting here in Toronto. I am meeting with my federal counterpart, Minister Philpott, and with the chiefs of Grassy Narrows and with the chief of White Dog. On the agenda tomorrow is this issue of what to do about Grassy Narrows. I have received the request for the treatment uh, facility. This is a matter that will be discussed tomorrow between the province, the federal government, and the First Nations concerned. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, again to the Acting Premier, pain is a constant reality for people with mercury poisoning. Lack of muscle control, tunnel vision, and other symptoms make life very difficult. The Japanese long ago provided special health care for mercury poisoned people in the city of Minamata. Does the Acting Premier feel no sense of responsibility for dragging out this problem? What does the Acting Premier have to say to the generations, the young people, the elders and the leaders of the Grassy Narrows and Wapasamung people, left with painful and debilitating legacy of mercury poisoning of their river and lands? Thank you. You seated, please. You seated, please. Minister. As I said in my uh, uh, first answer, we are deeply concerned about this issue. That is why this meeting has been arranged tomorrow with the provincial government, the federal government, the federal cabinet minister is coming down, Minister Philpod, who is responsible for the operations side of the federal ministry. I know that this subject matter that the member opposite has raised is on the agenda tomorrow. Uh, we will uh, consider uh, what we hear from both the federal government and the First Nations and the province, but we are working towards a solution for this. In the meantime, I should say that we have provided $5.2 million for some remediation workup preliminary to tackling the actual problem. We've also set aside $85 million. Uh, that's in a, a fund that is co-managed by the province and Answer. the First Nation to address these issues. Thank you, Speaker.